Hold on to your hat because we have another beauty from Belle Tress from Wig Studio One. So, never fear because another wig review is here. And today I'm presenting the unboxing of Pike Place in Butterbeer Blonde, which I have never ventured to obtain before. Pike Place was purchased on the clearance section at Wig Studio One. So I'm just going to give her a spritz of Envy Renew and Repair. Wearing Dalgona Heat Friendly 16 Inches in Cream Soda Blonde. Now I don't know where she's been in her travels, but I do know where she's headed. I'm just going to scrunch up the ends. And we'll see what we are working with. Let's look at the inside of the cap on our Pike Place. Starting with the lace front. Now the first thing I noticed was the left monofilament part is all the way on the left, as you can see. She does go almost all the way back. And the lace front is from here to here. The ear tabs with spliced in hairs and the metal stay is here. Now note, very important, she does not have an extended nape, just a velvet covered strip and the pull strap adjusters. She's open wefted in the back. I don't detect any discernible permities. So off with our Dalgona 16 inches heat friendly and cream soda blonde and on with the review of Pike Place. I'm absolutely in love with this Butterbeer Blonde. Look at how the lace front is so gorgeous with the lighter color. That's these platinum-ish strands going all the way down to the hairline. The lace on the lace front is perfect. And I do have a wig grip underneath. Now let's look at the air tab coverage. Now it's adequate, but it is a little better on the Dalgona 16 heat friendly, which has more significant air tabs on the Dalgona for some reason. And the Dalgona also has the extended nape. And now that she's on my head, I can attest that I don't detect any permities to speak of. A word about the fit. She fits very similar to the Dalgona. I would venture to say 22 inch average size head circumference. Now my head measures 21.70 and with a wig grip, she's good to go. Now my stature is five foot two inches so you can judge where she would fall on you accordingly. The color is gorgeous. I did not realize until this moment how much warmer the cream soda blonde is compared to the Butterbeer. Who knew? And we will be looking at the colors in the natural light. So stay tuned for that. Looking at Butterbeer Blonde, the rooted color on your left and the unrooted color, Cream Soda Blonde on your right. If you are looking to add some more curl, 
in your pipe place, I will be happy to show you how to do this in a brief tutorial. Coming up next. It's brief tutorial time again. You will need an outlet to plug in your curling wand. A heat glove so you don't set your hands on fire. Jarma no detangler would be my suggestion. You can also use water, preferably distilled or spring water. And a silicone product. In this case, I'll be using Envy Renew and Repair, one of my faves. The first thing you want to do is spray the section that you wish was more wavy, like so. Silicone spray at the tip. And now the magic happens. We will, before we turn on our curling wands, The heat should not exceed 350 degrees. Disengaging our wand and turning it off. Do have a safe place to set this down. I am holding the wave in my hand securely because it's not going to be effective until it cools down, which will take about a minute. Always bear in mind that the curl is taking place in the cooling down process. Ready, set, go. Voila, we have a curl. So what you can do with this curl is pull it down And of course, if you commence with separating it, you can create some beautiful waves. Any curling wand is fine. You choose what works for you. As a reminder, we invite you to shop at Wig Studio One and also join the Wig Studio One private Facebook group. I hope you've enjoyed the brief tutorial and my review of Pike Place. Until we meet again in the next video, stay safe.